Good morning. Today is Monday, June 15th, uh, and welcome to our real work week. We have a couple of assignments this week as well, and these are uh, assignments that require a lot of time um, because it's just about making art and making design with uh, very specific materials. Um, so it's all tangible, it's all hands-on. And then um, during that time, you will be reporting to us, you will be taking images of your works in progress, posting them to our discussion thread uh, in voice thread. Um, and we will be giving you feedback uh, everyone else and you also will be giving uh, feedback to others works and this is how we're going to improve uh, throughout that time um, all those works and eventually you will need to submit the finished works by the end of this week on Sunday okay so on Sunday we are finishing all the activities um, this is a due date basically for the entire module the thing that you are uh, doing right now, watching me, uh, taking you uh, through all those, uh, all that checklist, all those points on the checklist items, um, that's really good. This is the very first step that you need to do for the module. Um, so um, this is checked. Uh, welcome to your number one overview. Um, after this video, uh, watching this video, I really would like you to go to the checklist for module number one and see what's the next on the list. And you see voice thread reading, presentations, demos, review. So basically all the content that you need to know first in order to do all other activities in the week. Okay. Uh, voice thread, I'm going to explain in, in a little bit more um, uh, uh, in a moment, but voice thread is actually the platform on which we're critiquing our works, we're giving feedback to each other, you, you're posting the images, and there are instructions how to do that, and voice thread is, is one of the items in this module um, that actually is located a little bit later, lower, um, closer to the bottom. And then we have readings, okay? So you will need uh, to uh, uh, be sure to finish those readings pretty soon, June 17th. Um, so June 17th, um, that would be um, Wednesday. Um, in the past, it was usually Tuesday. Um, it's great if you can finish this by Tuesday because then you really understand everything and it's a little bit easier for you to actually work on your designs because you understand a little bit better elements of art, composition, uh, how to create image, uh, content, formal content, like how all of, of, all of that works and comes together. Uh, it will be so much easier for you to then um, I respond to it, um, uh, you know, in in the making. Um, so keep this in mind. Um, you really want to start the readings after this video. Um, so we have uh, one reading that is um, uh, divided into three parts, and not it's not like always they are like typical uh, text readings. Um, there are sometimes handouts uh, with definitions. Um, you just need to know them and you, you sometimes you need to memorize them uh, as well. And then uh, those readings are important just because you will be quizzed on them on the 17th, on Wednesday. So quiz number one, um, it uh, relates to the readings. So it's super, super important. Um, and then the next thing is posting uh, the reading discussions and uh, you're posting your initial uh, reply to my question in the reading discussion. And, and there, there's a very specific question, it relates to composition, color often, um, and there are a couple of images of works of famous artists. 
and I ask you to compare, I ask you to uh, infer some information from what you're seeing and answer to very specific questions. In, in the past, um, there are specifics on how to do this and you need to familiarize, familiarize yourself with the requirements for responding, okay? So it's all under that item. Um, and so you have time between and uh, now and June 18th, uh, the end of the day, 11.59, to submit your posts as well as replies to at least two other uh, persons in the class. So next on your list is, um, you know, and something that you can already start early on, uh, just next on the checklist. Um, but I really encourage you to start posting your images of works in progress. Um, early on uh, once you have something already done like you have uh, you you have uh, you have a, a couple of things uh, ideas put together not glued yet um that's better because then we can uh jump in and give you some better feedback so it's always better to be sure to you know to wait with uh uh with the, all those um uh, last resolutions um, and then gluing um, at the end um, at all those pieces um, once they are nicely composition, comp compositionally sound and so wait sometimes for our feedback just to finish totally the work um, so that would be our group critique through VT in module one so VT is voice thread and it's, it's sort of like a discussion board, uh, not quite, just because um, voice thread is, uh, I'm like scrolling and it's really underneath all the assignments um, and you see that uh, you need to post images in a very specific way. Uh, there are instructions in the sub module right underneath um, uh, the uh, voice thread um, critique for in progress and finished works uh, voice thread uh, item uh, in module one. Um, so uh, you shouldn't have any problems. But let me know if this is something uh, a little bit weird or you haven't done this before. You, you watch all those instructional um, uh, videos that I ask you and you have a little bit hard time to figure out how to post your image. You have to first take a good quality image. Um, so if you have problems, let me know. I may add a, a, a short instructional video on where to click, how to submit your uh, work as a slide and then how to uh, add voice over it yes because i would like you to comment on your image that you're posting and um, just two sentences what it is and what kind of feedback you need um and now you need to always take good quality images and those good quality images um are required uh, to submit to a voice thread always um, also, they are required eventually when you have finished work to submit them to appropriate uh, places under assignments um, for the weekly assignments, you know, at the end of, of, of the week you need to eventually submit them. Uh, so there are very, very specific instructions on how to go about taking your pictures. They are very well explained and thoroughly. Uh, there are additional videos, instructional videos. And uh, it's an, in a separate module um, that is outside of module number one. And the module is called how to photograph your work and submit for grading. Okay, so you always, whenever you need to refresh, well, in the, in the very beginning, you need to review, uh, but whenever you're not really sure about a few things, how to submit that image, how to do the trick so it looks like your original work, um, always go to those instructions in that module on how to take good quality photographs. Okay, and... Um, 
yeah there is one more discussion board for you it's just q a assignment um uh, to to the assignments in module one and that q a discussion boards will be f uh, for each module designed to um just give you an outlet for additional questions about the assignments um possible solutions that you came across while actually making or resolving those projects those visual projects and so um i really would love to hear uh, that you have some ideas on how to help others or if you have questions pause those questions there those questions always will relate to those few visual assignments that we have um, you know art making design assignments uh, and this is how we can also help each other um, and um, then you submit portfolio by the end of uh, the entire week yes so june 21st we're finishing all the activities uh, in terms of activities on discussion boards and um, if they are still going on they need to cease on uh, Sunday uh, June 21st at midnight one minute to midnight actually and one minute to midnight on that Sunday you need to be already done with submitting all your finished products of your designs so we have like I said, three different uh, design projects. Um, you can also think of them as artworks. Um, and so we have exploring line and shape. You have all kinds of instructional videos and everything explained in this um, assignment under module one. Uh, right after, um, and it's not really right after, but concurrently i really encourage you to to just switch between the three move from one to another on daily basis so work a little bit on this assignment work a little bit on the next assignment work a little bit on on the third assignment every day so this way you will accomplish all three assignments by the end of of the week so like i said this is all compressed this is the entire semester compressed in six weeks so that's why you need to dedicate quite a bit of time every day for all of that.